All right, thanks for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon. Um, so my name is Boris. I work at a startup called Orbital Insight. Um, so very briefly about us, uh, we're located in Mountain View. Uh, we're about 60 people now, founded in 2013. Uh, and our goal is to take aerial imagery. Uh, right now, it's primarily satellite imagery and use a combination of computer vision, machine learning, uh, deep learning, statistical modeling um, type of methods to track various economic and environmental trends. Uh, we are purely an analytics company. We're purely a software company. So to get imagery, we partner with a number of companies, companies like Digital Globe, um, Planet, uh, and a number of others. Um, and ultimately, our goal is to partner with as many companies that, uh, that operate remote sensing satellites as possible. Um, our customers include a bunch of asset management firms, um, hedge funds on, on Wall Street. Uh, we're also working with um, some US government uh, agencies and two nonprofits right now uh, doing things like deforestation uh, and uh, poverty mapping. Um, that's us at a, at a very high level. Um, so why is the space industry interesting right now? Um, when I think about Orbital, the thing that's most exciting to me is that I think we're at the intersection of two uh, industries that over the last several years have gone through a lot of rapid progress. Uh, one of those industries is AI uh, and computer vision in particular. And I'm guessing that folks in this audience are familiar with some of the things happening in that industry, uh, in particular uh, revolving around deep learning. Uh, but the other industry is the space industry. And what's happening there is that it's getting cheaper and cheaper to build and launch uh, remote sensing satellites and other kind of, kinds of satellites. Um, and historically, uh, these, these companies that uh, operate remote sensing satellites would primarily sell to the government. Um, so it's, it's largely an untapped resource um, outside of government. And when you look at how the government's been using this imagery, um, at least in terms of analytics, they employ many, many, many people who sit in front of a screen and they look at these images and you know, maybe they measure or count things. Uh, but it's a, it's a huge manual effort. 